Well, hello friends, pro-life leader Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life, here to celebrate with you the work that we do each day, my daily diary, covering today the days from Monday the 13th of May through Thursday the 16th of May 2024. What exactly did I do? So the Monday uh, morning of Monday the 13th, uh, I was up early doing some early taping here in the studio. Had to do some desk work, of course, with things like calls to pro-life leaders being planned, state leaders meetings being planned. We're bringing together the state leaders in those places where these abortion amendments are being fought. Work with staff on upgrading studio procedures, planning a church visit, uh, show notes for different broadcasts, and also plans for an upcoming national leaders meeting. Had my regular follow-up appointment with my cardiologist. Everything looks uh, completely great and normal, uh, but I had to drive into uh, that appointment uh, about, a, about an hour's drive. On the way there, had various phone calls with staff to conduct business of the day and get updates. Uh, same thing on the way back, various phone calls in the car. So that was a 10.15 a.m. appointment. Again, everything is good with that. Got back to the office and uh, many, many things uh, waiting for me. Work at my desk on some of the things I just mentioned, interaction with staff, uh, and had a quick lunch. And then Father David Begany arrived, our uh, pastoral associate who lives in Texas. Uh, he came here for a few days' work. We did a 2.30 taping here in the studio for Praying for America. And uh, during these days, we also have our pastoral team meeting that we have every uh, six weeks or so. So those meetings got underway. And then as the afternoon uh, went by, I, I got some end of day updates from staff. At 545, I had a, a Zoom call for a coalition meeting for a group called uh, the Def Defending Life Alliance of uh, Florida. We're planning a Florida March uh, for Life. Then uh, after that uh, Zoom call, I uh, brought uh, Father David uh, Begany to a working dinner in uh, here in Titusville, and we did a lot of uh, talking and planning and updating. Then uh, drove him uh, to his hotel and then had an 8.30 uh, phone call with our, actually two members of our administrative team, just getting updates from the day, looking ahead to the week. So the day finished uh, on that note. Tuesday the 14th, again, uh, up early as I always am, and various work on my emails and at my desk included the following topics. The broadcast schedule for the week, giving approval for various uh, building uh, issues, some work uh, that's uh, being done by our handyman. Plans for the pro-life leaders upcoming meeting, a tribute to one of our pro-life leaders who's celebrating a birthday and is well loved, so I did a quick video segment for that. Some uh, communication in regard to our prospecting mailings where we get new supporters, work on Silent No More, work on radio spots, approving a fax to go out to all the parishes across the country, planning uh, the conference for uh, Road to Majority, the political conference that I'm uh, uh, getting clergy to uh, come to, media bookings, and also preparation for the next election planning meeting. So the briefing was a special one with uh, all of our pastoral team members. Uh, that was at 8.30. Following that and the updates in that, I met with the different staff and then came into the studio here for a live broadcast at 10 a.m. of my scripture reflections, followed immediately by Father David uh, saying Mass on the broadcast as well. So that was very good. Once he started Mass, I had to go into a 10.30 meeting with our Executive Director and Associate Director and other priests, Father Dennis Wild. So we had a, an update meeting via Zoom at 10.30. Back to do more work at my desk. And then at 11.15, we had a Zoom meeting of the entire pastoral team to talk about the monthly reading. We have a book discussion each month on some pro-life book. 
and we discussed the one that we read this past month and distributed the one that we will be discussing next month. That was at 11.15. I had then a uh, quick lunch break, and then at 1.30 I had a, a phone call with an assistant to one of our guest speakers at the upcoming Pro-Life Leaders meetings. We were talking about security issues. At 2 o'clock, I was here in the studio taping another Praying for America episode. Back to my desk for some work, and then at 3.30, pastoral team meeting via Zoom regarding election activities and upcoming plans and projects for that. More desk work, end-of-day updates from staff, and then at 5.30, I took Father Begany for dinner at a nearby restaurant. We had a working dinner, again, talking about many upcoming plans, and then I dropped him off at his hotel and finished with some quiet work in my office Tuesday night. Wednesday, the 15th of May, up early, working at my desk. Some early uh, work had to do with the following topics. Trip plans and invitations, the Ralph Reed uh, Conference Road to Majority plans, approving some aspects of our prospecting plan, recruiting election volunteers, some communications about that, communications with staff about production work here in the studio, communication about the Mary's Town, which is a Zoom prayer meeting and talk that I give regularly coming up and then some work on the election calendar with the relevant staff. We had an extended staff briefing at 8.30 on which we had updates from various members of the pastoral team, including Dr. Teresa Burke, for example, who founded Rachel's Vineyard. She's one of our pastoral associates. It was great to have her give the staff an update on Rachel's Vineyard. And various other updates were given at that meeting from 8.30 to 9.30. And then at 9.45, came in here in the studio and once again did a live broadcast of the scripture reflection at 10, followed by Father David Begany saying Mass for our online audience as well. Some work at my desk, 11 o'clock, another all-staff meeting via Zoom, where we got various updates, for example, from our international team, Bob Lalonde representing us at the United Nations, updates on our Silent No More campaign, updates from our Washington, D.C. office, updates from our communications director on all the national media that we did on television, radio, and through published articles since our last pastoral team meeting. She gives a great update about that. We see the progress we're making getting the pro-life message out there. That meeting concluded just before lunchtime, and I took Father Begany again to a local restaurant for a working lunch. We made some good plans, got back here, and then there was a lot of desk work waiting for me, including preparation for another Praying for America episode, which I taped in here in the studio at 2 p.m. More desk work after that, and then back in here at 4 p.m. for two back-to-back half-hour episodes with Father Begany for our End Abortion U.S. program. We talked about some of the uh, current projects of Priests for Life that you, the viewers, could take part in. Once we finished that taping and I got some end-of-day updates from staff, I took Father Begany again for a working dinner at a local restaurant, and then uh, we had made some more plans there and updated each other on more things relating to our work. We came back here to the office after dinner. I did about an hour's work at my desk, uh, catching up not only on emails but also doing some show preparation. And then at 9 p.m., we were here in the studio again for a live broadcast, which went for over an hour from 9 to 10 p.m., a little bit plus, where we did a Good Shepherd seminar. And this was very, very popular. We had many hundreds of, uh, of uh, participants because people were interested in finding out more about the topic of the program, which was encouraging clergy to overcome the obstacles to speaking about abortion. Very, very common question, of course. So we did that until after 10 p.m. And then finally, Thursday the 16th, up early, lots of work at my desk, including topics like the upcoming political conference, the Good Shepherd Seminar, some follow-up on that, election training meeting, the upcoming one, a press release that we're doing about our Freedom of Information uh, request, 
about the government's spying under the Democrats on Catholic churches and conservative Catholics, preparing an e-blast about that, working for a no vote on Amendment 4, the pro-abortion ballot initiative in Florida, and then giving some approvals to letters and, uh, and emails going out to our donors. It was an extended all-staff briefing at 8.30. We got more road, uh, more, um, uh, I say road because it's from the road update from Father Dennis Wild and other members of our staff who updated the whole team about their activities. Over recent weeks, Brian Kemper, for example, also doing a lot of traveling and speaking for us. And I gave my travel report to the whole team as well. So that meeting went from 8.30 until about 9.30. 9.45, back here in the studio. Again, a live scripture broadcast at 10, followed by Father uh, David saying the Mass. Back to my desk working on uh, various emails. 11.30, Janet, our executive director, and I met with Kevin Burke of Rachel's Vineyard. Did some planning with him, did some updates with him. Then at noon, Janet and I had a two-hour Zoom call with Mary's Town. Now, this is a pr like a prayer meeting after which they invite uh, a, me to give an update on the status of pro-life pro news in the United States, followed by a special talk with Q&A with Janet. And she presented her testimony and her work founding the Silent No More campaign, co-founding it. And we had a wonderful discussion with these people who are all connected with Hollywood in some way and want to make a difference. So that was from noon to 2. Then at 2.15, Janet and I jumped on another Zoom call. And that was also with our Rachel's Vineyard team, Katie Denuncio, who manages the, the headquarters office just outside of Philadelphia. Lots of plans going on there for Rachel's Vineyard activity. Followed immediately at 3 o'clock by another a Zoom meeting, this time with our entire pastoral team and some of our staff, where we got updates about our website, about our social media outreach, about our resources and uh, statistics. So uh, that meeting was very, very good. It went for about a half hour. Then at 4 p.m., I was back here in the studio to tape the evening's episode for Praying for America, after which I got various end-of-day updates from uh, staff and uh, went to bed early, actually, some quiet work at my desk and, and in, uh, in my office. There it is, the 13th of May through the 16th of May, 2024. I hope your activities are going well. I hope your work for the unborn is fruitful. We are with you. Let us continue marching to victory. God bless.